Hello viewers, this channel is created to know about the manufacturing of pharmaceutical products. In this session, we will discuss about the complete overview of US FDA. Let us start the session. The United States Food and Drug Administration, FDA or US FDA, is a federal agency of the Department of Health and Human Services. The FDA is responsible for protecting and promoting public health through the control and supervision of food safety. Tobacco products Caffeine products Dietary supplements Prescription And over-the-counter pharmaceutical drugs, medications Vaccines Biopharmaceuticals Blood transfusions Medical devices Electromagnetic radiation Emitting devices Cosmetics Animal foods and feed and veterinary products The FDA's primary focus is enforcement of the Federal Food, Drug and Cosmetic Act FD&C, but the agency also enforces other laws, notably Section 361 of the Public Health Service Act, as well as associated regulations. Much of this regulatory enforcement work is not directly related to food or drugs, but involves such things as regulating lasers, cellular phones, and condoms, as well as control of disease in contexts varying from household pets to human sperm donated for use in assisted reproduction. Now let's talk about US FDA terms simplify. What are NAI, VAI, OAI, and EIR one by one? Many of us wonder what the U.S. Food and Drug Administration US FDA, means when it says a pharmaceutical manufacturing plant has a no action indicated, voluntary action indicated or official action indicated status. After the US FDA inspects a plant, they classify the inspection into one of the three following categories in the Form 4A3 No Action Indicated Voluntary Action Indicated Official Action Indicated The FDA Form 483 notifies the company's management of objectionable conditions. At the conclusion of an inspection, the FDA Form 483 is presented and discussed with the company's senior management. Companies are encouraged to respond to the FDA Form 483 in writing with their corrective action plan and then implement that corrective action plan expeditiously. After the inspection, the category chosen is based on US FDA, 
determining if the areas evaluated by them during the inspection are to what extent in compliance with applicable laws and regulations. So, what do the three classifications stand for? The first one is No Action Indicated The No Action Indicated is the best classification a plant can get from the US FDA. The drug regulator defines it as no objectionable conditions or practices were found during the inspection or the conditions found do not justify further regulatory action. This category means it is a green signal for the plant to function as is and the US FDA is satisfied with the state of the plant post the inspection. Generally, an NAI is issued according to experts when there are no observations issued to the facility at all during the inspection or are extremely benign. The second one is voluntary action indicated. This is the second best classification that a plant can get from the US FDA. The classification as defined by the regulator is as follows. Objectionable conditions or practices were found during the inspection, but the agency is not prepared to take or recommend any administrative or regulatory action. AVAI is generally issued when a plant receives observations and responds to them and the regulator believes the response by the company is satisfactory. It is then up to the regulator whether they would like to reinspect the facility to assist the remediation. The other one is official action indicated. This is the strictest regulatory classification. The US FDA defines it as regulatory and or administrative actions that will be recommended on the plant. It means that the regulator issued observations to the plant and was not satisfied with the response by the company to the observations or thought they were inadequate. The regulator can then decide what further action can be taken on the plant, which could be a quicker reinspection slower approvals as severe as a warning letter or even an import alert. Plants with OAIs are generally required to be reinspected by the US FDA officials to give it an all clear. And finally what is EIR? These classifications are generally communicated in the EIR or the Establishment Inspection Report but sometimes the EI rupees may not contain the classification either. It is important to clarify that the EIR is essentially a document which is issued with a lag after a plant inspection has taken place by the US FDA. Issuance of an EIR does not mean the plant is clear. Generally, if a plant already has an outstanding warning letter or import alert on the facility and is issued a more benign classification, such as NAI or VAI then it is likely that the earlier regulatory action will also eventually be reversed or lifted, however, it needs to be communicated explicitly. Similarly, an OAI with an already outstanding warning letter or import alert could mean further bad news for the company. For any suggestions, videos related to pharmaceutical manufacturing, mention in the comment section. Thank you.